Lyndon, three wins in a row. How would you describe the, the atmosphere in and among the group at the present time? Yeah, obviously, we're, we're, we're very, very happy. It's a happy camp to be in. Um, I think, obviously, you know, we talked a couple of games ago obviously we, when we hadn't won in a couple of years. Um, obviously, keen to get that first win on the board. And obviously, it's just nice now we've got that first one. We've kind of kept it rolling. And for you as a young cricketer, how's the experience of being involved in this, this group of players? Yeah, it's amazing. Obviously, when you're playing with um, obviously so many players that have, you know, play first class cricket for years or, or test cricket as well. Um, learning a lot of them it has, been, has been brilliant um, and seeing how they perform in, you know, in these games, yeah, it's been amazing. Looking back to pre-season, what were your sort of objectives for the year to come then and how are you tracking against those now? Um, I think, yeah, pre-season, yeah, I, I didn't really expect to start the season, I don't think. Um, so I look like, you know, try and get my game in as good a place as I can be, score as many runs, take as many wickets as I can if, in the second team if that's what it was going to take. Um, and then see where I got to. But obviously, you know, when I when I got tired, I was playing that first game. I was over the moon, and then yeah, I just tried to you know, stay in good rhythms since then. Do you think it was your performances in pre-season that, that brought you into the reckoning for that first game? Yeah, potentially. Um, also, I felt good when we played Warwickshire in that second team game pre-season, um, and then to get some runs against Leicester here uh, just after. Um, yeah, my, my game felt in a good place. Um, but I was still surprised when I got when I got the nod. Um, but yeah, I'd say just nice, yeah, nice to get the nod. And obviously it's been going well for you with, with bat and ball, some good scores on the board, some, some good wicket hauls. Well, what are the areas where you would still what, that you still feel that you need to work on though? Um, you know, obviously everyone wants the first hundred, I think, um, and Pfeiffer to be honest. You know, Essex, I've obviously got that fourth, you know, I, I want to try and kick on and get that Pfeiffer. And, and then you know, this week here, I felt pretty good against Worcester getting, you know, 78. And then you know, obviously pretty disappointing way to get out. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to stay pretty patient and, and hope that it will come and, and keep doing what I'm doing because I feel you know, my game's in a good place. So when you were building that partnership with Ben Duckett the other day, was winning the game in mind at that point or were you thinking more about bonus points? Um, neither in particular. We, we just wanted to get set, you know, set, set ourselves up in a good position as, as much as we could. Um, you know, take it. We took it you know, when we walked out the first time. We said, look, let's you know, get through this first half hour. It's, you know, we felt it was going to be pretty tough. Um, and yeah, see where we got to there. We didn't try and look too far ahead. Um, obviously, as the day progressed, and you know, we felt we were in a pretty good position to potentially kick on. And obviously, the way that Tev came out and played that, that evening um, obviously put us in that position to win the game. So, um, yeah, we took it step by step. But obviously, yeah, as it got towards kind of tea time, we, we had an idea that we could post a, a big enough score to potentially try and bowl them up twice. Has that been an important value for this team, staying in the moment, not getting too ahead of yourself, playing what's in front of you? Yeah, I think so. We spoke as a team before the season started and said, look, like we've got to win those moments and we've got to stay present in those moments. Um, and I think, you know, so far, I think we've done that pretty well. Warwickshire up next, away from home. What do you make of the challenge of that game? Um, obviously, you know, great game here. We played a murder in the season. Obviously, to come out on, on the losing side of that was disappointing. but. Um, yeah, a lot of positives to take from that game. Um, you know, obviously they're, they're another good side, um, but hopefully you know, we can carry a bit of momentum from the last three games and try and put in a good performance. Does the fact that it was such a good game, close game, and the fact that the Knots were on the losing side, does that add a little bit more spice and motivation? Yeah, a little bit, because obviously you, know, you, you want to you try and beat every team in your group, and obviously this is our opportunity to do that. Um, and having, having, you know, having won these last three games, you know, we feel like our game's in a good place, and, and hopefully yeah, we can um, kind of do them over on their own patch, which would be nice.